So hello and welcome back to another video guys. Now that's right, today we're going over the brand new Pixar movie which has hit Disney Plus on Christmas Day and that is Soul. Now before we get started, I've got a new tripod and I've got um, a new light on here and I would just thought I'd let you guys know in case you noticed it's looking a bit different here um, on this video. Um, let me know in the uh, comments guys if the lighting's okay if it's too bright or if it's too dark still just let us know you know i'm always trying to make the videos better for you guys so let me know um below um how this is but anyway let's get on with the actual film itself so so what is this this is pixar's 23rd movie um and of course this one here is directed by pete doctor and uh kemp powers now these two have directed a couple, um, and they've written a couple of Pixar films before. A couple which I'll have to bring up are Wally, personal favourite of mine, um, Up, and of course their most recent one I think was um, um, Inside Out. I think so. They're finally back to do another Pixar film. And whenever these two kind of do a Pixar movie, it always tends to be on the better side. So this year when we had Onward coming out and Soul, this is going right back to the start of the year, and we had a trailer for Onward. And of course, we, we only had the, the written details about Soul at that point. I kind of knew Soul would be the better of the two. And hey, just saying, I wasn't wrong. Um, so, Soul, this, this film, guys, this film, I mean, uh, wow. This film does does a lot. It does a lot. There's, there's so much that happens in it. There's so much um, interesting messages in this movie about life and just living in general. And um, it touches on a lot of sensitive subjects in a really good typical Disney slash Pixar way like Zootropolis did. And it's really good like that. And there's a lot of lot of undertone messages in here which are very important. And it's something which I also really enjoyed with this movie is the, the music, the jazz music. I know that a lot of people, for example, when jazz finally got its run at a big Hollywood movie with La La Land weren't very happy because <laughs> it was white people... Um, uh, you know, the film was filled with white people when jazz is a very, um, you know, a, a black type music. And here you have it represented so well of how it was when it started in these, uh, in these bars and stuff. And people have to work so hard. And of course, the, the, the characters in this are so good. And the music is fantastic. I, I, I love jazz music. Jazz music's great. And here it's it's really good. So the the actors in this, of course, Jamie Foxx's voice in our lead character, and um, Tina Fey uh, also plays a big part in this movie. And their two characters bounce off each other so well when they finally come together. It's really good. Um, their characters are actually developed really well. They go, they they actually feel like Pixar characters in the sense that I I know why these characters do what they're doing and stuff. Unlike. Onward, <laughs> where it's just, here's your typical character and they're just going to do this. It's like, you understand why this character's thinking this. You get backstory, you get character development. And the journey that they go on is really, really interesting. Because I thought they would be in the soul world. I forget what they called it, but the, it might just be called the soul world. I can't remember. Um, I thought it would just be in there the whole time, where they're the little, the little blue things. But they're not. It bounces back and forth. They do an interesting thing which I wasn't expected when they come back into the human world. Like, they don't exactly end up in the same bodies they left in. And I didn't expect that. I, it really took me by surprise. Um, all of the other voice actors done a really good job. Because um, you, you get you, you, there's quite a few other characters that you in, interact with here. Um, and it's, it's just a really sweet film. The animation is gorgeous. I think the colouring, the lighting in this, mov uh, in this movie is fantastic. Um, but yeah, I think Soul is really, really good movie. Really good. It's a shame didn't get to see this one at the cinema because this film was it was pretty fantastic. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, Soul. What am I gonna give it out of ten? I'm gonna give Soul an eight and a half out of ten. I think this is Pixar's best movie since since Coco. Yeah, since Coco. And if we're not gonna include Coco, because that one always sort of stood out to me, you know, uh, it's Pixar's best movie since Toy Story 3. It really is. That Soul, Soul and Coco just... <laughs> it's like they're a part of those early days of Pixar where the writing was just incredible all the way through. Um, but nevertheless, you know, Pixar do come out with some good ones. Still not saying they're all 
weaker films nowadays. They're not. There are some other good ones there that I enjoy, like Toy Story 4, Incredibles 2, Inside Out. But Coco and Soul, those two films, wow. Pixar, wow. Soul was fantastic. Make sure you check it out, guys. It's free on Disney+. Plus. They haven't charged us like they did for Mulan, thankfully. So make sure you check it out. It is well worth your time. Um, but that is it for this video, guys, as always. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message, and I'll see you all next time for another video. Bye-bye.